Great. So lying down onto your backs, feet hip distance apart. And if you've got the music there and you want to press play, you can start that now with your music. So welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I'm just going to take a few moments to arrive on your mat, arrive in this space, in this day, the sun shining for us. So when you're ready, try to now just close the eyes if that feels okay to do so or soften the gaze. And you may want to place your palms onto your belly like I am at this moment. And I've got my fingertips spread nice and wide, my elbows relaxed on the mat and my shoulders relaxed down. And I just want you to take a moment to simply scan through your body. So noticing the soles of the feet onto the mat the toes spreading, the balls of the feet touching the mat, the heels of the feet, even maybe noticing the arches, the inner arches of your feet, the weight of the hips releasing down. And maybe you notice this natural curve of your spine. Maybe there's more of a flatness in your spine. We're all differently, different shapes in our body. So maybe it feels different for each one of us. And then start to feel with your fingertips on spread onto your tummy, that movement of the abdomen, maybe the movement of the ribs. As that breath starts to pass in and out of the body, fully and expanding into every part of the body with your breath. And allow the breath to start to become longer and slower. Nothing forced, no gripping. And you maybe feel the weight of the shoulders release down that little bit more. Again, the elbows heavy but bent onto the ground. And then the back of the head, heavy. And you start to notice if you're really gripping anywhere into the face, the facial muscles. And just notice where the tongue is held in the mouth. Can the tongue be a light, slightly lighter in the mouth? Encouraging the jaw to soften a little bit more. And just really aware of any sensations in this moment, how the body feels, how you're feeling. Just taking a moment to observe that. No judgment, no right or wrong. We'll take a few more moments to just really tune into this moment, into the feeling body. Just really enjoy what it is to feel the breath in your body. Maybe this is the first time today you've paid any attention to that. So really feel into the breath expanding in the body, almost deflating out of the body. Again, expanding into the body with every inhale and deflating out the body with every exhale. You're going to slowly let the hands slide alongside the body. Fingertips spread nice and wide, but keeping the shoulders grounded and rooted again. Again, still feeling into the tips of the toes, the, the heels rather of the feet. And we'll start with a simple exercise to really warm up your spine. So we're going to take a deep breath in and see if you can arch your spine, almost like you're really exaggerating it. So there's this big gap between your mid back and the mat as you inhale. And then as you exhale, reverse that as you draw the belly button in and almost feel like you're working towards flattening the back down. And again, inhale, feel the back arching and the tailbone becomes heavy. And then as you exhale, draw the belly in and feel the pubic bone draws towards your face. And again, inhale to find that arch. 
and then exhaling to slowly find that now you're really lengthening your whole back. Let's take a few more, breathing in, expanding in the front body, and then breathing out, really find that you're spreading into that whole back. Let's take one more, so breathing in, tilting the pelvis, and then breathing out, finding length. Now ground into your toes. As the belly is drawn up and in here, really feel that activation of your core. The spine is long. And then can we start to now press the hips to the sky as we lift up into a bridge pose. But try not to really hoist the hips too high. Think about drawing the shoulders down, the tailbone lengthening towards the backs of your knees. And we'll take another breath in at the top. And then we'll exhale to lower through the upper back first the mid back, we'll tuck the tummy in and then lower down with the pelvis very last, the tailbone last. At the bottom, take a breath, find that arch again that we did before, tailbone heavy. And then exhale, draw the belly button in, lengthen the spine, activating the core. Inhale, let's float the hips to the sky, find a nice long line in your spine, hip bones pressing up. And then exhale, lower upper back, mid back, tucking the tummy in so that you can really encourage as much length into your spine as possible and lower the tailbone last. Let's take two more like that. So breathing in, slowly tilting through the spine and then exhaling, hugging the belly in. So you're almost kind of preparing yourself before you then lift the hips up towards the sky. Press into the feet, lengthen the tailbone towards the backs of the knees. And then as you exhale, start to lower down with control. Last one. Now try to keep your head still. I know I'm looking over, so I am moving my neck. But I want you to try and keep your head as centered as possible. Taking that last breath in to create the arch. And then exhale to lengthen your spine. Belly draws in. Then you inhale, float the hips to the sky. And then exhale, hold here. Notice how that feels. Notice the weight into the feet. Can you shift a bit of weight into the shoulders, but not into the neck? And from here, we're going to inhale, float the arms to the sky. And then exhale, reach the arms back and behind and really open up through the front body, stretching to the armpits. Take a breath in. And then we're going to exhale, float the palms down at the same time as lowering the spine, almost like a moving meditation. So nice and slowly. We're going to take two more like that now with the arms. This time just straight up on the inhale, arms float up. Exhale, reach back and behind. And just notice if your knees are splaying out, ground the big toe joints, breathe in at the top. And then exhale, starting to lower, nice and slow, really controlled. Take your time, lowering to the ground. And again, straight away, straight back up. Inhale, float the hips up, float the arms up. Just checking, really nice effort. Well done, everyone. Reaching back as you exhale. Breathe in at the top. Good, keeping those toe, big toes grounded down as you lower down bone by bone and then you reach your fingertips down you hug your knees to your chest squeeze your knees in and lightly rock on your back from side to side so just notice how that feels in your back if you take your knees a little bit wide or maybe a little bit further away and just encourage a massage into the sacrum the base of the spine Rolling the knees, maybe alternating directions to really give that back a massage. Let's take a few more breaths here, in through the nose and out through the nose. Again, in through the nose and out through the nose. Well done, everyone. You're going to slowly roll yourself over to one side. Carefully press your way up with your palm in front of your heart. And then we'll all come to meet in all fours position. So let your palms come underneath your knees, your knees, under, sorry, your palms underneath your shoulders. <laughs> That's easier. Knees underneath your hips. And you're going to slowly sway from side to side. So yeah, if you've got any knee issues here, then do place some extra props beneath your knees, any more extra cushioning if that's what's needed here. 
And any time you feel like you need to come off your knees, you're welcome to come and lie on your back. So we're going to spread the fingertips nice and wide. We're going to roll around into the spine. So I like to draw a figure of eight here and I like to let the head really lower down. So there's no tension in the neck. There's no holding, no gripping. I mean, you're just spiraling around, really just play with the uh, mobility in your spine today, noticing if there's a little bit more shifting or needing to shift rather into certain sides of the body. Maybe one side is stiffer, maybe one hip is stiffer. And you can play with this movement. You can rock back and forth just to really get into the body, spiraling into the body. Well done, everyone. Nice deep breath in and a slow breath out. One more breathe in. And then as you exhale, we'll press the seat to the heels, child's pose. So this may not feel great for some of you with knee injuries. So please have extra props, maybe a blanket underneath the buttocks, maybe even keeping yourself slightly further forwards with the forehead on your fist, if this is a bit easier for you with knee injuries. Otherwise, if you're in your, off your child's pose, let your head release down. Keep your elbows lifted so you're active into the arms. And we're just going to sway the forehead from side to side there nice and slowly. Breathing in. Breathing out. Just releasing those feel-good hormones across the pituitary gland as you take a few more rocks and rolls and massages across the brow. One more breath in and out so really slowly this next sequence is all, i don't really have a name for it but maybe like pouring cat is the best way to describe it we're going to slowly on the inhale come forwards into like a cat stretch so the mid back is rounded upper back rounded up to the sky and we're going to start to now from here on the inhale sweep the right arm back and behind towards the toes Reach the palm up to the sky, so you're almost drawing a big circle. And then on the exhale, press back into a child's pose. So palm meets the mat, forehead to the mat. We're going to inhale forwards to a cat again. Sweep the left hand back now. Reach it up to the sky. Maybe you move with your eyes as well if your neck feels okay. Plant the palm down. Exhale, child's pose. I'm going to take two more to each side. So inhale, cat, as you roll the right arm to the sky. Full circle and exhale, child's pose. Inhale, sweeping forwards, left hand up. Maybe your gaze follows the fingertips. And then exhale, press back. Let's take one more to each side. So you're going to inhale forwards, reach the right arm nice and high, look up. And then exhale, press back, seat back, child's pose. Last one together. Inhale, left hand sweeps high, looking up. And then exhale, press back, child's pose, forehead to the mat, roll from side to side and breathe in, breathe out. Nice and slowly from here, keeping yourself in child's pose or if you're forwards, you can still do this. We're going to walk the hands right into that right hand corner of your mat. Maybe you're in child's pose still. Stack the left palm on top of the right and then breathe into your left side waist, breathing in deeply. Try and ground your seat bones back if you can or onto your blanket, whatever may be there. Breathe for one more. And then exhale. We're going to slowly walk the hands back to the centre. Hold for a moment. Noticing how that feels into one side of your waist. And then slowly walking over to your left side and stacking that right palm over the left. Press your right hip back ever so slightly and breathe now into your right side body. Breathing in, breathing out. Last breath in. And then exhale, walking yourself forwards. Release the forehead onto the mat or maybe on your fists, wherever you're at. And just start to again notice how that feels in the body. Breathing into the back of the body, into the side of your ribs. And then relax through the shoulders. We're going to slowly now, when you're ready, inhale, come forwards to all fours. And then take your time to start to now tuck your toes under. 
and we're going to slowly shift the weight up to the sky and then pressing into your downward facing dog. So taking the fingertips nice and wide, maybe the hands a little wider than shoulders as we're still warming up. A couple of rolls out of the shoulders if need be. And just make sure you're not sinking into your mid back. Try and hug in underneath the, the bra line there or underneath the breastbone rather to try and hug in. And then we're going to start to inhale, roll up onto our tiptoes. Almost feel the clickiness and creaks of your ankle joints. And then soften the knees as you exhale to ground your weight back through the backs of the thigh bones. Two more. Inhale, rising up. Tiptoes nice and high. And then softening through the knees. Exhale to draw the heels back. One more together. Breathe in, rise up. And then exhale to press your weight back. We're going to bring our feet together side by side. Option to lower your knees here. Inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky, spread through the toes. And then exhale, hug your knee into your navel and really scoop and round your upper back for space. And then step your right foot forwards. So you can lower the back knee and ease the foot forwards with the help of your palms. Ground your left palm. Now this might be where you need your block. That's fine to have that under your left palm. And we're going to inhale, sweep the right hand to the sky, lift up, look up. And then exhale, reach back and behind, taking two of those shoulder rolls. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, reach back and behind. And one more. Inhale, reach to the sky, look up. And exhale, reach back and behind. On the inhale, lift the right palm, maybe tuck the back toes, and then lift the back knee as we hold here into this twist. Press the back of the kneecap up towards the sky and relax through your shoulders. Breathe space into your front body and almost try and hug your hips into the midline of your body. Notice that that knee is not shifting out to the right side. Taking one more breath in. Well done everybody. And then exhale, windmill the palm forward, slowly step back, downward facing dog pose. Breathing in. Find your down dog, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, one more breath, inhale and exhale. We're going to look forwards on the inhale, sweeping the heart forwards into our plank pose, nice and long through the body. And then exhale, lower the knees, press the seat towards the heels, but keep your chest elevated. We're going to scoop the belly in like a cat pose and then round forwards as we lower onto our bellies with control. Now take the feet quite wide on your mat, slide your forearms forwards to a sphinx position. Ground through the tips of your toenails, ground the pelvis and together we're going to slowly inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest. And then exhale, scoop the belly in. Feel the belly button almost lift off the mat as you round the upper back. Two more, breathe in, the heart floats forwards. Make sure the shoulders don't creep up. Well done everybody. And then exhale to gently scoop and round. One more, create length through the front body, shoulders relaxed. And then exhale, lift, feel the belly button lift, the activation of the core as you round the upper back. And then inhale, let the elbows open, press the palms beneath the shoulders, lift to all fours and downward facing dog pose. Let's take a couple more breaths here as I just check in with you all. You can see how you're all doing. Wonderful everyone, great, breathe in. Breathe out, wonderful alignment everyone. Nice long spines, great. Let's take the feet together. Option to lower your knees if you prefer here. And inhale, sweep that left leg up to the sky, spread through your toes. Exhale, hug the knee to the navel, scoop and round your upper back and step that left foot forwards. We'll lower the back knee, option to have your block. Inhale, the left hand sweeps to the sky, look up. And then exhale, that full rotation through your shoulder joint as you roll back forwards. And again, inhale, left hand to the sky and exhale. One more together, breathe in and breathe out. 
we're going to inhale the left hand to the sky hold here now an option to tuck the back toes lift the back knee off the floor and come into your twist look back of the kneecap pressing eye breathe in breathe out again try and keep that left knee drawing into the center line your hug knees your hips rather hugging into the center line breathe for one more breath extending through that back heel and then exhale palm to the ground when you're ready inhale hug the belly in and exhale downward facing dog pose breathing in breathing out one more breath inhale through the nose and exhale let's slowly on your ready inhale hug the belly in round the upper back come to plank pose exhale lower the knees shift the hips back but keep the heart lifted inhale hug the belly and round through the upper back and lower yourself with control onto your belly take your feet nice and wide and we're going to slide the palms forwards wide now and the elbows are lifted if you prefer to take the first option you're welcome to in sphinx but lifting onto your fingertips ground the pelvis so yeah if it's too much for your lower back keep the elbows down we're going to inhale press the heart to the sky press into your toes and then exhale melt your heart forwards two more hug the chin to chest inhale roll up like a snake through your spine and then exhale to dive your heart forwards one more rolling up peel your spine off the mat lift your heart and then exhale melt your heart back down breathe in let the hands come beneath the shoulders inhale lifting up and then exhale downward facing dog pose breathing here breathing out really find your downward dog spreading through your fingertips breathing nice and wide into your body allowing the facial muscles to soften the back of the neck to fall long with no gripping taking one more breath in and out we're going to bring the feet together side by side inhale the right leg to the sky so reach up nice and high and then exhale hug the knee into the navel and when you're ready slowly step that right foot forwards you may want to tiptoe the back foot a few inches if need be and we're going to slowly like a rag doll roll the spine up and rise up to our high lunge breathe space into your upper body breathe out nice and slowly inhale and exhale i'm going to change direction here so you can see me clearly so nice and slowly we're going to take the back heel down now drawing our weight back and opening the arms wide into this warrior two keep the front knee bent again making sure it's not rolling inwards we're going to inhale exhale from here as you inhale try and straighten through the front leg slowly bend the back knee ever so slightly in line with your toes bring your palms to prayer as we hinge into that side lunge we're going to press through that left foot inhale rise back up warrior two exhale press away through your right heel side lunge palms to prayer two more like that push away from the left side inhale warrior two and then exhale lunging again side lunge palms to prayer press the heels of the palms together to lift your heart last one press away for your left side inhale push away through the right side and exhale one deep breath in well done everyone really good effort push through the toes and then exhale rise bring your feet to parallel and just wiggle out your hips your knees a couple of times side to side breathing in breathing out well done taking the right toes forwards again align your hips so we're back into that squared hips position inhale float the hips the hands rather to the sky lift up tall and then as you exhale you're going to take your palms behind interlace the fingers and roll the shoulder blades back and behind take a breath into the side waist into the whole of your front body 
and then as you exhale press the back heel away and lengthen your heart forwards keeping that front knee in line with your toes breathe in relax your face breathe out almost feel the belly pressing to the thigh to feel stable in that way for one more breath in well done everybody and then exhale lower your palms to the floor i'm going to grab my block keep having to move from direct each direction and you're going to have your block nearby in front of you if need be tiptoe the back foot about halfway hands can come to your block and you're just going to hinge your weight forwards and back on that front foot and the back foot so almost like you're massaging onto the ball of the foot the heel of the foot breathing in breathing out and you can soften the knees a little bit if need be here breathing in and breathing out good and then we're going to slowly ground the front toes have a little bend into that front knee and then nice and slowly extend your right arm forwards but we're keeping our pelvis and our hips square good you almost might need to really ground the right big toe and send the right hip back into space breathe into that front body breathe out now if you feel you want to challenge yourself here and you're feeling okay see if you can get your palms to both lift away from the block lengthen through the back heel breathe fully into your front body for one more breath well done everybody and then exhale lower your palms softly <laughs> well done keeping that front knee bent left palm to your brick breathe and then taking your palms to your left outer edge of your rib cage breathe in and then as you exhale see if you can gently rotate your rib cage almost self massaging and wrapping your palm around to roll your torso to the right side Try not to let the right shoulder creep up. So I like to actually roll my shoulder joint a couple of times here. And then you can place the right palm onto your hip, your sacrum rather. Send the back of the heels away. Press your heart forwards and keep allowing your torso to twist here as you breathe for one more breath. Ground your front big toe. You're also tiny in that screen, I can hardly see you. And then as you exhale, windmill your palm forwards, soften both knees, and then gently when you're ready, stepping back, downward facing dog. Now you may want to use this time now to lightly walk out the heels or just come to really notice the difference there in both legs. Let your shoulders soften, let your head really hang. Breathe for a few more deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose, in that calming breath, nice and deep and long for one more breath and out. And then feet together side by side. We're going to inhale the left leg to the sky. So reach out through your toes, shoulders wide. Exhale, hug your knee into your navel, scoop and round through your upper back for space and step your left foot forwards. Great, everyone. You can take it nice and slow, just making sure you're balanced. Now maybe step the back foot a couple of inches as we hug the belly in and roll our spines up like a rag doll. Let the hands rise up to the sky and then exhale, hold. Well done, everyone. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Wonderful, last breath in. And then when you're ready, we're gonna exhale. Start to now slowly draw the back heel down and then open your palms wide as you come into this warrior two. Try and allow your gaze to focus forwards. Nothing, not too, um, too fussing around too much with your feet position. Relax through your shoulders, breathe in. Soften the gaze a little, breathe out and soften the fingertips. So there's no, none of this real pinching or gripping motion. One more breath in. 
and then we're going to exhale, press away from that left heel and then roll our weight to our right side as we come into this side lunge, heels pressed together, heels of the palms together. Well done, push through the right side, inhale, rise up, warrior two. And then press away from the left side, exhale into that side lunge. Wonderful everyone, again press away, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side lunge. Well done, nice effort everyone. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, side lunge. Nice and strong into the legs everyone, well done. Press away from the back foot, inhale, warrior two. And then slowly exhale, square up your feet to face towards the front, towards me. And you're just gonna slowly bend through both sides roll out the hips if that feels quite good for you in that moment and then we're going to slowly feet are wider than hips toes slightly turned in like pigeon toes and then we're going to inhale reach the hands to the sky look up and as you exhale with a softness into your knees especially for any lower back issues start to fold your heart forwards and allow your chin to roll to the chest. Now here you might again find a block is useful for your hands. And just make sure that you don't sort of really round into your back here. Try to keep your heart elevated forwards. And that might mean that you don't go quite as far by allowing your heart to stay lengthened. Bending at the knees, let your weight shift a little bit into your tiptoes so you're not just leaning into your heels. Well done everyone. Couple more breaths, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And then slowly walk your hands forwards a little bit more. See if you can really stretch almost like downward dog facing arms, chin towards your chest. And then we're gonna come up onto our fingertips, nice and slowly come up onto your tiptoes and then see if you can lower your knees. I think this is known as frog pose. Not quite sure why, but your legs are pretty much, I suppose, like frogs. So you've got your knees quite wide. So for anyone with knee issues, take this quite narrow and don't worry so much about the flexing of the feet if that's too much for you. But from the side, you may be able to see that I'm flexing my feet behind now. My knee is almost in line with my ankle, well, is in line with my ankle joint. For some people, that flexion might already feel quite uncomfortable. So feel free to keep the toes back if that's better. But if you can, come um, with your toes, your feet flexed, wide into the hips, it's a strong inner thigh, groin stretch. Take a breath in, try and draw the belly in, and then exhale, walk your hands forward. So here you might find that you wanna have your elbows down, or you might wanna have something beneath you to bring you some support, support so you don't collapse into that belly area and then into the chest. And we're gonna take a couple of breaths here. So let me just check in on you all, see how you're doing. Yeah, so for some of us, it might be really quite intense. It's a strong one into the hips. So just don't take it so wide if need be. And for you, Charlie, is that too much for your knees? So you might wanna just keep yourself almost like in a child's pose and extend your arms forwards. That's it. Yes, yeah, so you've got your hips just above your knees there. Great, everyone. Keep reaching that heart forwards. Flexing through the feet if you can. I suppose that's why the frog bit comes. Spread through the toes. One more deep breath in. Well done. And then exhale. Start to nice and slowly walk your spine up very carefully. Draw your toes under to bring your knees a little bit closer. Well done, everybody. And then we're gonna turn ourselves, so we're back into, all, into our wide angled, sorry, stretch, wide angle. And then turn the left toes to face the front end of your end of your mat and the right heel is back. So we're back into this squaring up of the hips and you may want your block there. So you're gonna slowly tiptoe the back foot forwards, left foot forwards, and we've got your block nearby. So just like we did on the other side, just start to rock your weight forwards, backwards onto the tiptoes, onto the heels. 
nice full breath with every rock and just using this to almost kind of try and track your knees in line with your toes, in line with your hips. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, now let's try and ground through the front toes. Maybe there's a little bend into that front knee. Ground through the back heel and keep your pelvis square. Almost draw the left hip back ever so slightly. Plug down through the left big toe. We're gonna inhale, reach the right arm forwards and really find length into your side waist, nice and long. Breathe in and lengthen through the tailbone. Breathe out. Good, you can have that front knee soft, that's fine. And then maybe if you're feeling strong enough and want the challenge, take both hands forwards. Breathe space into the body. Keep your gaze forward so the back of the neck is long. Breathe in fully. Breathe out. One more breath. And then exhale, lower the palms softly. Well done. Keep the right palm where it is. And then nice and slowly take your left palm, wrap it around the outer edge of your right rib cage. Use your palm like a massage to gently draw your ribs over to your left side. And we can still keep that left knee soft here if that feels better, trying to keep the hips square. And roll your torso to the left. Breathe in. And then as I did before, I just took a couple of shoulder rolls into that left side, so the shoulder doesn't creep up. And then placing that palm right towards the sacrum, keeping the pelvis square and just rolling through the torso. Breathe in, breathe out. Well done, everybody. One more breath, breathe with ease. And then slowly, when you're ready, soften that front knee, bring your palms back to the floor softly, and then gently step back, really slowly step back. Take a deep breath in, and then open the mouth wide as you exhale, ah, for that feeling of deep release. Two more, deep breath in. Open the mouth wide, exhale. Good, again, breathing in, try and have the knees soft if your back is rounded here to lengthen your spine. And then when you're ready, lower your knees to the floor. Take your blanket if you need for your knee protection. And then press your seat to your heels or your blanket and rest into a child's pose. Just allow your head to rock a little from side to side. Of the forehead, just having a gentle massage again. This time the elbows are soft, nice and slow. Good, keeping your chin to your chest. Run your arms alongside your body. Keep your tailbone heavy and hug the abdominals in as you slowly inhale, roll up like a rag doll. So let your head come up very, very last. Rolling up bone by bone, head is last to come up. And if this is really uncomfortable in your heels, please come straight down. Otherwise, palms into your Hips here, take a full breath in, just notice how you feel. A slow breath out. Breathing in. And breathing out. When you're ready, let your palms come to the floor. If you can, pop yourself up on your knees, tuck your toes under and just pop up into like this squat position and then transition your weight back into your hands behind you. Walk your seat onto the mat and we'll slowly extend the legs forwards there. So you can have a little bit of a bend into your knees here. I like to move the fleshy part from behind around the buttocks so I can really feel like I'm on my seat bones. And then spread the toes nice and wide. 
taking a breath in we're going to interlace the thumbs reach up nice and tall to the sky long spine and then with an exhalation just lightly float the heart forwards maybe the tummy comes to meet the thighs if your knees are bent and when you get to that point where you just can't keep your back straight you may start to round stay with your straight spine and allow your palms to rest maybe on the mat maybe towards your shins but an equal distance for you to now allow the head to gently release down, chin to the chest. We'll take a few moments in this forward fold, trying to not think about just touching your toes, but rather thinking about this lengthening from your heart forwards. So for any back issues, it's really a much safer way to do this is to actually have the knees bent and maybe even have your hands behind you. But if it feels okay where you're at right now, just allow the eyes to close. Think about your breath in this moment, where you can direct that breath a little bit more. Will that breath allow you to create a little bit more space, mentally, physically? Because right now, forward folds, well always, not just now, forward folds, really require a lot of patience patience to also accept where we are in this pose and allowing this moment to be just right as it is nothing else you need to change nothing else you need to do just simply breathe two more breaths in through the nose out through the nose one more breath, relaxing the shoulders, softening the jaw, and exhale. We're going to hug the chin to the chest, engage through the abdominals, and gently, when you're ready, roll your spines up like a ragdoll. Let your head come up very, very last, sit tall, and then relax out your shoulders as you exhale. Gently bring your feet to the mat and we'll make our way down so you can hold the mat or you can either hold the backs of your knees and come to lie on your backs. Gently walk your feet in and then hug your knees to your chest as we rock on our back from side to side like we started. Give your back a nice gentle massage and then keep your right knee to your chest, extend the left leg away. Hug the knee towards the armpit and just start to draw a couple of circles in that right hip, right into the ball and socket joint. But try to keep the left hip stable. Breathing in, breathing out. Hug the abdominals in. Now at the centre, take a breath in and you're going to take the left palm to the knee as you exhale, twist across the midline of your body. Allow the right arm to extend away. Take a breath in, take a breath out. You just check in on you all while you're there, making sure you've got the correct shoulder alignment and everything. So, Trixie there, if you bring your knee up a little higher, try so you can encourage your right shoulder to fully relax down. So you don't have to, the knee doesn't need to touch the floor or anything, it's just Allow, hopefully you can get the shoulders to rest down and you can feel that opening into your chest. So let's take one more breath in and out. Hug in the abdominals, come back to centre, breathe in. And then exhale, squeeze both knees to your chest. Just gently rock on your back from side to side there. You're going to keep the left knee to your chest, extend the right leg away. And then draw the knee towards the armpit as you circle into that left side. Noticing how maybe that feels a little different on this side. And then hugging the knee to the center, breathe in. And we're going to exhale, take the knee across now to the right side. So as before, you don't need to, if the knee doesn't touch the floor, that's fine. You can even have a block under the knee if you prefer. And the left shoulder now eases its way down to the mat. And we encourage both shoulders down, front of the chest open and expanding. And then breathe space. Allow the cheek, the left cheek to rest towards the 
the mat on the left side. And just take a couple more breaths here, allowing the shoulders to settle, the cheek to relax. Well done, everybody. Fabulous. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then when you're ready, the head comes to center, hug the abdominals in, breathe in. Take both knees to your chest, exhale. And then allow yourself to gently rock on your back from side to side. When you're ready, place the feet to the floor, stretch the legs away nice and wide. And when you're ready, preparing for Shavasana. So maybe you want to take a blanket Maybe you want something under your knees for your lower back. But if you can now, just let your eyes close. Take the feet as wide as your mat. Take your palms out as wide as your mat. Lengthening the chin lightly towards the chest so the back of the neck is long. And together, take a deep breath in. Fill up your lungs. And then open the mouth wide as you exhale. And again, a deep inhale. Open the mouth wide as you exhale. Just now breathing naturally. Take a few moments to settle in. Allow your body to feel heavy, but soft. And just before we close this practice, I just want to share with you a poem to close today. So just allow yourself to remain still, rested and quiet. If you forgot it all, what if today you forgot it all? What freedom would you feel? What newness? What depth? of experience might you discover everything the air smell it a sky so blue throw your hands into it a face that stranger is it your one true love embrace him kiss her don't just fall in leap hurl yourself into that love Imagine if today you forgot it all. Would old habits become bold adventures? Might boring be a guise of mystery? The mundane, an invitation to wonder. What if today you renounced all that you knew? Taking a deep breath in and out. Start to really notice your breath, the quality of your breath. Start to notice the sounds that surround you, the sounds in your room or even as far as you can hear. Notice any colours, warmth, a heat or coolness. Noticing any taste or smells, and the touch of the mat beneath you. And when you're ready, just let your head rock from side to side, bringing some sensation back into the fingertips and the toes. Let your head lightly rock from side to side and then begin to slowly stretch your arms up over your head taking a deep breath in and then exhale to release take a nice big yawn to stretch your jaw and release when you're ready hug your knees to your chest squeeze your knees in gently rocking on your back from side to side and then 
carefully rest to one side, nice and slowly resting to the side, breathing into your whole body. And then take your time to quietly come back to seated, keeping the eyes closed, your palms at your heart center in prayer. Just taking a moment to come to sit tall and elegant through your spine, shoulders relaxed. Take your palms together and just rub your palms together. Build up a bit of heat, a bit of warmth into your palms. Placing the palms over your eyes. Welcoming in that softness for your eyes and your gaze. Breathing in. Breathing out. Take your hands to prayer at your heart and just bowing to the earth. Giving thanks to this practice that we can connect in this way together. Namaste.